Okay, but first, and you, he hasn't bargained on your competitiveness, has he? No. You don't know competitive until oh, this woman brings wait. in a trifle from home. Yes. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm terrified. <laughs> but first, a new survey has revealed that children feel safe in the car when their mum is driving. Who'd have thought it, eh? 60% of 5 to 16 year olds claim that they're much happier and more relaxed when their dad's uh, not in charge. Kids say men drive too fast and are more aggressive and they lose their tempers more quickly. So is this true in your own experience and would you be happier, being really honest, it's honesty day, to be driven by a man or a woman? Well, you see, this is a problem, isn't it? Because I've got to drive with Mr Spain after this. I have to say, uh, my, this is purely personal view, M men have a problem in the car in that if I'm driving and I see somebody that looks a bit wobbly and a bit dodgy and I look at a, a, a potential situation coming up where somebody's going to do something stupid, because I think driving is all about preempting the other person, mm. I will allow for that person to make that mistake and when they make the mistake, I'm ready. A man will drive at that person. He's going to do this. He's going to watch him. He's going to do this. Yeah, you say. <laughs> and then you have a huge... Because I showed him. <laughs> now, this to me is not good driving. On the other hand, I would have to say at the end of the day, bearing in mind women have days, I do myself, when I'm not up to speed <laughs> uh, hormonally, ultimately, in the long run, I'd put myself in the hands of a male driver. Really? Would you? I have to say this. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I totally disagree. I think I, I'm the best driver. <laughs> And that, although my brother is, is my chauffeur, you know, and, and I trust him with my life, I'll, and it says you can always trust a driver when you sleep, you know, in the... With him. With him. <laughs> no, 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 that's that is wrong. Absolutely no. No, in the back, with him. No, oh! no. When they're driving, you can fall asleep. They say that's a trust yes, of a driver. absolutely. <laughs> it's going horribly wrong, this. Oh, but yeah. to say that, um, I, I've been driving so, since I was 17, so... It's like second nature to me. I just know exactly when to go in the road. I know... Because a lot of accidents are with people doddering and dithering. Mm. And that gets on my nerves. And I'm saying, go! <laughs> you know, and you sat there and they go, oh, shall I go? Oh, no, I better just wait a bit. Is that you? Waiting no, no, for the I'm preemptive. Not, I'm not saying I'm a bad driver. And I've yeah. been driving since I was 17. And I uh -huh. passed first time. And I'm actually a brilliant driver. But I'm trying to suggest that I have off days. I'm... Yeah. You I, obviously I don't. I think no. the key is knowing where you're going. Where ah. is that? <laughs> <laughs> that does help, That's you know, quite Lisa. a serious statement, I think. Is what, do you just get into the thing? Well, where should we go? If you, don't <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't know where you're going, you're all over the place. Mm. And because I, I know all the best routes and all the shortcuts, and I don't think Paul does. When we were living in London, because I've been living in London all my life, and Paul moved here a bit later on, as I, t I tend to remind him very often, um, <laughs> I tend to know exactly where I'm going, so I think I'm a better driver. Um, and now we've moved to the country, none of us know where we're going. <laughs> so, and I actually, I rang Bo before the show, and that thing about who's the safest pe person to be driving the car, and I thought, she's going to say me. And I went, Bo, look, just tell me outright, who's the safest person to be in the car with, me or Dad? She said, Dad, you're too fast. Oh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was pretty adamant that I was probably the better of the two, but um, Paul's got it. Mm. See, I think I'm a good driver. In as much as I prefer to drive than be driven, um, I, I've never ever, I can't remember the last time I booked a taxi. I, I much prefer to be behind the wheel. I think it's my control freak nature. Yeah. And when Darren's driving, I do a lot of. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. oh. Imaginary brakes. Oh, oh. It sounds, it sounds like there's something going on in the car that clearly isn't happening. <laughs> and, um,. So I, I, I do assume superiority, but I shouldn't because I've lost my licence in the past from, um, from uh, going in those yellow boxes. What are they for, anyway? Well, as I discovered in court, Lise, um, I don't know still what they're there for. Excuse um, me, you lost, you lost your licence the, making the same mistake more than once? I have a defence, because I know what you're going to say. You're going to say... You're stupid. Yeah, and you'd be right. <laughs> Is it was my route to the gym, and I was, and, and I didn't realise that if you got caught in the yellow box, it was three points and sixty quid, and I did it three days running. It well, took, then you're stupid. Yeah, but it took three <laughs> weeks for the letters to come through. So every day it was like, oh, oh, I can't afford to get any more, or oh, I've got some more, I really can't afford to get any more. The next day, <laughs> better buy a bike. Hey, <laughs> you've got to think outside the box. Oh! <laughs> I mean, he, he learnt to he learnt to drive uh, only about 10, 11 years ago. So I have been driving all my life, and 
uh, he'll be driving it and he's really steady and he's a really good driver but he's uh, as I said I'm like go now now and he'll say oh my god I says I keep forgetting I'm not driving am I and then he'll go actually yes I am aren't I because I never shut up I am the worst at the side of him so yeah. the poor guy I don't know he puts up with me I think with if there's a, a bloke or a woman driving if something falls off the car you know like a bit of machinery <laughs> I think it's better that it's, there's a bloke. Yeah. Doing it. And I'm the stupid one. Machinery. You might live in the country, but you don't drive a tractor. Not yet. I do. I'm a very good tractor driver. Oh, okay. You see. Okay. Well, we're heading uh, into a.